Hey guys, what's up? It's Autobot Mike 18 here with another Blu-ray review and unboxing. Guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing uh, Spike Jones's newest film, which finally is available on Blu-ray, and that is Her. That's right, guys. Her came out on Blu-ray yesterday, uh, Tuesday, May 13th, and uh, sorry for the one-day late review, guys. I actually did pick up Her on opening day. But the last couple days, I hadn't put out any videos. The last video I did was my neighbor's review. But I didn't put out a lot of videos in the last few days because I'd been busy with personal things going on. But now I am free, and now I have time to. I had time to um, film this review and unboxing. So I am going to um, show you guys the packaging and everything. Talk a little bit about her itself. I picked it up yesterday. And it was twenty two ninety nine at Best Buy. I went to Best Buy to get it, and um, I think that's the price everywhere. You know, Target and Walmart. Um, so a pretty decent price for a new release, and especially for a film that was this good. I personally loved her. It was one of my favorite movies of last year. I had to pick it up opening day and, and get it for full price because it was just so worth it. I, I love this movie. Um, now, one th one quick thing, guys, before I get into the actual uh, unboxing. Um, I did not get a chance to watch the Blu-ray yet. I literally just opened it before I started filming. I just didn't have time to pop in the Blu-ray. Um, I'm going to watch the movie, obviously, at some time, but I don't. I haven't seen the actual Blu-ray, so I don't know about the picture or the audio quality of the film on Blu-ray or the special features because I haven't even seen the Blu-ray yet. So I'm not really going to be discussing that in this video. I do apologize for that. I usually do discuss that, but just for today's review, I will not be discussing that. But anyway, let's get into the actual packaging. Um, I still have the stickers on and everything. I didn't get a chance to take them off yet. Um, here is uh, the front of the slipcover. Warner Brothers, uh, this is a Warner Brothers release. They provided a very nice slipcover in my opinion. Uh, even though it's the same one as the poster and her really only had one poster, which was the shot of Joaquin Phoenix's face with the red background going on. Um, I still love that shot and I love how they made that the front cover. Um, something that I thought was cool though, what they did with the side, I thought that they would make it a red, the red color, like the same as the front of the... Um, slip cover but they didn't they changed it up and they made it this shade because of the image on the back because it's just one lone image the one of the last scenes of the movie but anyway um so I do like uh, the release of the slipcover. I think this is one of Warner Brothers' better releases because it's not one of those bland releases. The discs actually have some color to them, on them, um, and uh, they did something different with the side. So I like that. But anyway, uh, if you take a look up top, guys, it says Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital HD ultraviolet. Also, guys, sorry there's not much lighting right now because... Um, when I um, turn my light on, when I turn the light on that I use to film all my reviews, it, it does something weird. Like, it makes the slipcover look very over bright, and I didn't want to ruin that look to it. So this is how it actually does look. Um, so sorry for the lack of lighting, like, around here. But anyway, um, uh, so yeah, that's the top. If you look right above... Um, Joaquin Phoenix's head, or Theodore's head, his name was Theodore in the movie, they have the SEAL Academy Award winner 2014 Best Original Screenplay, Spike Jones. I am so glad this movie won over American Hustle, don't get me wrong, I would never liked American Hustle to begin with, but I would have been so upset had this movie lost. This was just such an original, outrageous piece of filmmaking um, in terms of the content of the story, um, which is why I wanted it to win, and just... The, the actual dialogue between the characters was great. This was so well-deserving of Best Original Screenplay. This was actually, this movie was actually one of my choices to win Best Picture. Had 12 Years a Slave not taken it, I would have loved to have seen her or, or Wolf of Wall Street take it. Uh, but yeah. Um, anyway, but yeah, 12 Years a Slave was well-deserving. So uh, then again, like I said, uh, you have uh, Joaquin Phoenix, uh, the front of the cover, who was just fantastic in the movie, in my opinion. Really good performance. Take a look. There's the logo of the film, Her. It says right below that, a Spike Jones love story. Just looking at the slipcover now makes me want to go watch the movie again. I've only seen it once, and I really want to see it a second time. Then you have the cast. You have Joaquin Phoenix, Amy Adams, Rooney Mara, uh, Olivia Wilde, all good in the movie. And, of course, Scar Johansson, who just was fantastic as Samantha, as the voice of Samantha. Um, so that's the front of the slipcover, and there's the sticker for the ultraviolet code. Take a look at the side. Uh, this is the standard Warner Brothers release um, on the side of the slipcover. Um, there's a Blu-ray disc, and I love how the logo is in red now, and it, it, it looks very well. I think this would look very nice on my shelf. Even though I think the red on the, the spine would have looked nicer, 
um, than this color because I don't have too many red uh, Blu-ray covers, you know, with a red spine. That would have looked nice on my shelf. That would have like looked nicer on my shelf. This looks pretty good. Um, there's the Warner Brothers logo. Then you take a look at the back. Now, some people may get upset that they didn't include multiple pictures of the film. It's just this one shot. But I love this shot, actually, of Theodore and um, I forget who played Amy Adams' character. I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's been it's been like three, uh, four months almost since I've seen the movie, guys. <laughs> sorry. Um, so I, I love the shot of the city, you know, the, the city at night. It's just such a wonderful um, back of the slipcover. Um, there's a quote on the back that says, there's no quote, no, there's no quote on the front. Sorry about that. Um, it says, imaginative, funny, and emotional. And that quote is, oh, whoops, sorry. Imaginative, funny, and emotional. That quote is from Anthony Bresnikin of Entertainment Weekly. I think I said his name right. Um, and there's a look at the bio, guys. Since this video is in 1080p, if you have a good internet quality, you can set it to 1080p and read the bio if you've never seen her before. First off, I'm already going to stop you right there. Just go out and see this movie, whatever you, way you can see it. Go see it. Uh, but if you haven't heard of it before, there's the bio. Uh, short uh, Special features. You have a short film by Lance ba Bangs of the untitled Rick Howard Project, creating her. You have love in the modern age, intimate conversations about love and relationships in our time. This movie, those themes of this film were portrayed very well, in my opinion, the themes of love and relationships and hanging on and all that. I really love that with this film. And it says, also includes, how do you share your life with somebody, which was one of the quotes of the film. And there's the whole back, and that's it. So let's take off the slipcover, guys, real quick. Do a quick comparison. I want to show you the disc art, which I actually appreciate. Um, there you go. There's the side. Everything looks the same, and everything looks the same on the back. So uh, let's open this up. Let me make sure my code isn't visible because I'm giving it to a friend. In case you guys didn't know, all the digital copy codes I get, I always give them to friends. So right there you go. There's the digital copy code. But I'm saving it for one of my good friends on Facebook. Uh, I'm going to give it to him. But anyway, yeah, like like I was saying earlier, this is the disc art. Now, previous Warner Brothers releases, like if you saw the release for um, The Conjuring, just they just gave you black discs. Same thing with um, Pacific Rim, even though there were designs on it. But with her, you got, um, you got some... Uh, nice disc art in my opinion. So that's a nice shade of blue in my opinion. This is the Blu-ray disc. It says her Spike Jones love story. Warner Brothers Blu-ray disc. I love how that looks. Um, and then the DVD, which is the almost same shade of color as the front of the slipcover. Um, I love that that pink though. That is a very nice color in my opinion. It suits the disc. Uh, her Spike Jones love story. That's a DVD copy. So there you go. Um, and I like how they do that. T from time to time, I'm not gonna, I'm not crapping on Warner Brothers. They usually do do a good job with their releases. They always do, uh, for the most part. Um, from time to time, they do, you know, mix up their uh, their disc art. They do give us some, you know, uh, disc color and disc artwork. So I do like them for that reason. So very nice release, guys. I'm very impressed with it from the slipcover and everything itself. So I just put the slipcover, I put the digital copy back in, put the slipcover on. Let's talk a little bit about the movie. Um, <clears throat> And um, before I do talk about the movie, though, like I said earlier, I didn't pop in the Blu-ray yet. I literally just opened the package before I started filming this. Um, sorry about that. But I did look on Blu-ray.com's website. They did already review the film. Uh, I mean the Blu-ray. And uh, I think the movie got an outstanding picture quality and very good audio quality, if I'm not mistaken. So that means that the picture and audio quality of the Blu-ray does look very nice, very sharp. Um... And the other thing, the special features, I don't think they're plentiful. I think you get enough. Um, I, I don't remember if there are more included, though. I do forget. I do apologize about that. But um, that's not too bad. At least we get some special features. I'm happy about that. I do want to actually watch the, the, the special features, though, to see what went into making this film, what went into the thought process of creating the screenplay for this film. Obviously, Spike Jones would talk about that. But anyway... Yeah, guys, so as for her, the movie itself, if you guys watch my review of it, I saw it in January because it finally got a wide release, January 10th, I believe, and I saw it like two, like a week later after it came out or something, or two weeks after it came out, I forget, and um, I loved it. It was easily one of my favorite films of the year. If you watch my review, I'll leave a link to it somewhere in this video, but I gave it a 9.5 out of 10. I absolutely loved her, um, the, from the performances to the genius original uh, writing from Spike Jonze's screen. Play the direction, 
just the overall look and the setting of the movie. It's one of those movies that's set in the not too distant future, and just the uh, the whole production design really I don't know it just did something to me. I, I can't explain it. Uh, I like how it felt. You know the whole setting of the movie you know in the future you know the scene shot at night in my opinion i really like that that scene at the fair that he was that uh, theodore was at i mean i love i love all that with the film um let me think what else did i really enjoyed the score was just great in my opinion uh i love the moon song by karen oh and um like i said this the, it, the movie shows how good it, how well it was written um, when it tackles those themes of love and relationships and holding on to previous relationships and committing in, to relationships and all that, I really liked that about her. And honestly, the first time I watched the movie, there were a few th parts about it that got me a little jumbled on. You know, I was like, hmm, I'm, I'm trying to, I want to analyze this further. So this is that type of movie that I think needs a several viewings for you to truly and just genuinely love the film. And that's why I cannot wait to rewatch the movie. That's probably why I gave it a 9.5 out of 10. I really do want to watch it a second time. And I think I'll love it more the second time I watch it. Um, but that's really all I have to say, guys. It was a fantastic film. I highly, highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. Uh, definitely, definitely, uh, worth watching, in my opinion. Um, great movie. So, thank you guys a lot for watching. Thanks for watching my review and unboxing. If you did see her already, let me know down below in the comments what you thought of the movie. Give me your thoughts on it. Give me your thoughts on the Blu-ray release if you'd like to, guys. I really appreciate it. Check out my neighbor's review, and I got a couple other movie reviews coming, uh, in the next few weeks. And I got a couple of Transformers 4-related videos coming soon as well, guys. So, thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate it. Bye, guys.